Most people have the misconception that driving a stock car in circles, or triangles, or whatever it is, doesn't take any sort of physical fitness. But what they fail to pay attention to is that a NASCAR stock car is not at all the same as your daily driver, nor do you do anything close to what they do over the course of three hours. The first thing you need to consider when you're racing is G-forces. Turning left at over 150 miles per hour results in a severe strain on your neck and core. An average driver would experience 3 Gs of force to their body. That would be equal to about 40 pounds of strain on your neck consistently over the period of 3 hours or more. Let alone consistently, I don't think any of you guys watching could lift 40 pounds of force with your neck once. Next up, stock cars don't have any cold air conditioning systems. Inside a stock car, temperatures can reach over 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and the only thing keeping the drivers from basically dying is a tube that pushes fresh air into their helmets. But they are still wearing very thick fire-resistant safety gear, and so their body temperatures are extremely hot, which leads to the next thing. They lose anywhere from 5 to 15 pounds of their weight from sweating alone. Due to this, drivers need to drink a lot of water before the race. Stock cars also have very heavy steering and brakes. This is due to the car's design. The steering wheel is designed to feel directly connected to the road, so drivers can feel the limit of grip and the bumps on the road. Brakes have little to no power assist, so they can feel the maximum amount of pressure before locking up the tires, which of course leads to the need for really strong legs. And remember, they have to be doing all this consistently while performing a race for over three hours with no break time in between unless you count a caution. So I think it's safe to say, for that matter, that any race car driver is indeed an athlete. So if you guys still have any unanswered questions, go ahead and let me know down below. But I think I gotta get going now, so I'll see you guys in the next video.